Hi, Travis. Hi, Travis, Hi. how are you? Hi, how you doing, Jillian? Joshua, how you doing? Great. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad to get a few minutes to talk with you about the drop. I, I found this movie to be really funny. And uh, and your characters, uh, Lindsay, Josh, uh, good stretch there on the name, uh, <laughs> uh, were my favorite couple out of all the couples in the film. So, um, But uh, talk to me a little bit, uh, jo <laughs> Joshua, let's start with you because you you co-wrote co -wrote the screenplay. Talk to me a little bit about where the idea came from and, some of the idea and where some of the ideas came from for the film. Uh, but the, the idea came from actually uh, Sarah, my my writing partner, who also uh, uh, directed and and produced the film. Um, so so Sarah and her her husband slash partner of many many years. I think they've been together almost twenty years at this point. Are like like Shaheen will walk by sometimes, and Sarah will be like how hot is my husband? Like they are just <laughs> like the dream couple. You're like, how the fuck do you get that right. over the course of, you know, decades? Um, so, so Sarah, at one point, she really loved the movie force majeure and, and the whole yeah. idea of questioning kind of the society are they societal are they biological tenets of masculinity that that movie does and and was very curious what uh what a female equivalent might be and yeah. and asked shaheen just at home and she was like you know we've been together almost you know 15 17 years is there anything i could do that would make you feel like you married a dud and he was like <laughs> i don't know i guess if you dropped a baby <laughs> it's uh, it's so which, brilliant which brilliant. uh and then she and then we were on a hike at one point and and she told me this uh about this conversation that she'd had and i i peed a little bit because i was laughing so hard and then i got up and then i keeled over again and started laughing and we just decided that it would be like the dumbest but if it worked potentially really interesting premise to base uh to base a comedy on yeah. because it's this extreme thing that could happen and that if it happened especially amongst a group of people who who have known each other a long time would really affect everybody's relationships with themselves with their primary partners and and all the people around them Sorry if you hear a noise. It's my cat being a menace behind me. Um, oh, sorry about that. Uh, talk, to, uh, Jillian. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the crafting of your characters because I love, I love Lindsay and, and Josh in this. And the first conversation you guys have in the in the film where you're talking about who has the potential to drop a baby had me <laughs> rolling. Uh, but talk about the creation of your characters. You two have such amazing chemistry in this together. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. Um. I, I first got the scriptment sent to me and I was in, madly in love with it and, and was like, I want to do this. And then I met Sarah Dina Smith and Josh and, and we just sort of talked about who these characters were. And I was, you know, telling them that one of my favorite people in the world, this woman I grew up with, Barbara Stamos, I, I was like, she is this person, not to the heightened levels of everything, but she is like, no plastics lives in Topanga Canyon kind of a thing. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I just was like, I've never gotten to play someone like that. And to me, what was the most interesting about doing this with Josh was like, what if I've never seen the Bohemian couple where they're sort of like, what if we don't want to be this anymore? I've never seen that. Like they're always so committed <laughs> to the point where, you know, yeah, no one can, you know, I feel like they're very sure of who they are in a really cool, fascinating, interesting way. And to me, I was just like, I would love to dive into playing the version of them. That's like, I just want to be in a sports car. I want to be guzzling fuel. I want to be ripping around uh, hills and just, you know, wearing a bra for the first time. Like, who are the people behind that? And, and so getting to work with Josh and Sarah and figuring out backstories of who these people are, even though the character descriptions of them are so beautifully crafted. And I wish we could read them to people because they are so delicious uh, that it was really, 
it was really fun to already have that and then get to, you know, dive off and, and figure out who else they were add to it. Have you two had worked together before? I, I feel like the whole group oh. that's, that's amazing. Cause you two really do work together so well. Uh, it kind of feels like your scenes were, were ad-libbed a little bit. Is that, was that, was that the case or was that all script? The, the, the whole, the whole movie is improvised. All the dialogue in the movie is improvised. The, 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 yeah arc of the movie and the primary characters and 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 uh and all the 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 rest of the cast i mean the, there's a shape to the movie but there was it was a 45 page scriptment that that sarah and i wrote and all the dialogue was what the actors brought on the day to kind That's of amazing. like fill up and and bring specificity to these people i just want to backtrack for a second and add to what jump on what jillian was saying because one of my favorite moments in the movie because i i loved that the idea of these characters who who had like gone all in and like committed to this dream yeah. you're now like oh fuck we're <laughs> we're really deep right. uh, it is so great but Jillian's moment where she's talking to Anna and she's like, I want to, I want to be in air conditioning. I want to be in a mall. I want to watch action movies. And Anna's like, and wear deodorant. And Jillian, and, and <laughs> Jillian goes, no, no, I would never do that. No, no aluminum on my body. No, I would never do that. Like, I just love when someone jumps in like, yes, and, and you're like, no. No. You went too far like, That's not what I meant. Too far. <laughs> And this this question is for both of you. Are, I mean, are, are there any aspects to your characters that are that are familiar that are like parts of you? Like, we could you see any part of yourself in the characters that you brought that you have in this film? Jillian, oh, start with you. Yeah, I mean, I've got a giant crystal over there, so I definitely have a little <laughs> woo woo in me. I, I I read tarot cards and and uh, love like self-help books and spirituality. I definitely have a little bit of that in me, but I never fully explore it to the, to the realm that my character does. So I think getting to be in that, but then also have this experience of, you know, being a person who, uh, drinks out of plastic sometimes. I'm so sorry. Uh, it is, is good. So you kind of have both worlds, right. That she's yeah. like experienced one way and has gone the opposite direction and now is like, I kind of miss being somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Uh, so that was very helpful. Uh, Josh, you're a little hippie-ish, right? <laughs> Literally since we made the movie, I I built a house in the woods and moved to it. So oh, I, no. so I no. am not, I, like, I, yeah, no, it's, I, it's, I feel like your character. I have, I have air conditioning though. I have air I conditioning. Feel like, I feel like you play, I feel like you play a lot of actors who, who come across as hippie ish. Am I wrong in that? Is this, it seems that way. I, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think there's a part of me. I mean, look, I hitchhiked through Central America when I was 16. Like, like it's definitely in there. And then I grew up and, you know, had to work for a living and got married and had a kid. So, um, but, but I, but I get it. Like I get the, the itinerant explorer and I have dear friends who, um, who are still very much committed to, to, to that lifestyle. And it is, it is interesting and hard to watch what, what's like beautiful and and spontaneous and so uh uh so envy inducing in your 20s like watching people trying to sustain that in their 40s is a whole different thing all right well this has been fantastic talking to the both of you uh the drop is is hilarious um, um, um i hope it does it really well and then uh i wish you both the best of luck thank you i appreciate it Thank you, Travis. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.